here's one of the biggest pieces of wildlife we have. And there's our second piece of wildlife. Hi, we're the P family and we love traveling. We have done many road trips through Canada and the US and we would like to share some of our videos with you. We left Seattle and boarded an Alaska Airlines flight up to Anchorage. It was so beautiful seeing all of the mountains as we were flying over Alaska. We are in Anchorage, Alaska. We're at Point Borzinoff. It's a park near the airport and we can see planes cleaning. Picking up and landing very low. Here is Alex touching the ocean. We were excited to see a moose right near the airport. We are at Potter Marsh, which is along the highway to Seward. It's a really nice spot and sometimes you can see some wildlife here. And here's one of the biggest pieces of wildlife we have. And there's our second piece of wildlife. So we are in Alaska. Um, our flight landed about 9.30 this morning. Uh, we had to go get our rental car, so by 10.30 we had our rental. Um, looked at a couple of places around Anchorage, grabbed some lunch, and now it's about 1.13 and we're heading to Seward um, on the Seward Highway. And it's very beautiful here. Lots of hills. What highway? Okay, yep, go. Um, we're on the side of the highway at this lookout and we saw a belugas. There's some belugas splashing around in the water right over there. They're yeah, kind of hard there. to see because they're far. And they're white and the waves are white. So you're looking for white humps that come out of the water. This is Turnagain Arm. We've been driving along this for a bit and certain times of the day when the tide comes in you can see the tidal bore from here. There's some glaciers up there. We turned off to Portage Glacier Road to visit the town of Whittier. On our way to Whittier and we stopped by the visitor center. I think this one's the Portage Glacier. Not sure which one it is, but it's supposed to be around here somewhere. We're currently waiting to go through the tunnel into Whittier. Um, we paid our $13 toll. It's about 3.30 on a Tuesday. There's not a lot of traffic here. Um, there was a lot of traffic that came out from Whittier at 3 o'clock. Probably over 100 cars and trucks. Um, so it was a very busy time. Um, but going to Whittier right now on a Tuesday in August isn't so busy. So this tunnel is a shared tunnel. 
Um, it's one-way traffic and it's shared with the train. So it's only open the bottom of the hour to Whittier, top of the hour from Whittier, and then the train in between if needed. Sometimes it'll be shut different times for the train. long. I don't know exactly how long it is. I will go and do some research and let you know, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty long tunnel. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. The vision's blurry because we're driving through, but see the end of the tunnel. And here we are in Whittier, Alaska. One of the most unique things about Whittier is the fact that 90% of the town lives in one building. There's a building here and it looks like there's like a store or something, a playground over there. So everyone lives in the same area, same house, same building. And here we are in Whittier. We're at the port area right now. There's a cafe. some gift shops. If, looks like a car rental place. Which makes sense because there's some cruise ships that leave from here. So after spending like, what, 15 minutes in Whittier, we're heading back. There wasn't a lot to see. Um, if we were there, we probably would have gotten ice cream or explored some shops, but um, we wanted to just catch the tunnel. But There is some hikes and as we said, some shops and restaurants, but it was a long day. So we just wanted to get to Seward. Alex is timing it. So we'll let you know how long this tunnel is. And we're out of the tunnel, back on the other side. And how many minutes was it? Eight minutes, three seconds, and 40, 47 milliseconds. And I guess it would be 802. Woohoo! I'm the best! I get a prize! And uh, what's that prize? I don't know. Good kids? When we got to Seward, we checked into our hotel and then we went for dinner at the Gold Rush Bistro. Then we explored downtown Seward and the harbor area. in August. It's still light out. We're in the Seward uh, Harbor right now, Resurrection Bay. Just looking for seals or whales or whatever we can find. The next morning we took a six hour Kenai Fjords National Park tour with Major Marine. It was very beautiful. We will post a separate video of our tour. We had to bring back the rental car to Anchorage, so we headed back up the Seward Highway and explored some more areas on the way. Okay. Here we are at Exit Glacier. <laughs> oh, what?
The Exit Glacier is part of the Kenai Fjords National Park. This is a national park that we took the boat tour through yesterday. And there's Exit Glacier. So we're heading back to Anchorage um, from Seward. And uh, we're at Beluga Point right now. And the weather's a lot different than what it was when we uh, came here two days ago. It's a lot choppier, windier, colder. Um, I don't think we're going to see many whales in the water. And back in Anchorage, of course, we had to go see some more hockey arenas. John said we had to go see Star the Reindeer when we were back in Anchorage, and I didn't actually realize it would be a real reindeer. It was really cool. I just thought it would be one of those giant roadside attractions. We're back in Anchorage, and we're watching the airplanes. Looks like there's an airplane coming in to land right now. There's an overlook part where the planes fly right over us. So here's an error. This is an Atlas error, I think, coming into land. <laughs> 